So we are going to practice learning about and you know deciding how money moves around our city. And I don't mean like moves, like dancing. I mean like when you spend money and people earn money and they save money and they donate money, how do all of those steps make our city um, successful and make the money move around our city? So we're gonna play a little game and here we go. So, first of all, we're going to pretend like you are the Cha-Ching band manager, the Cha-Ching people who sing all the songs to us. So you need to pay the sound studio $100 to record a new album. If you don't pay, you can't record new, um, a new album and make money. So you pay the studio. What are we doing? Earning, saving, spending, or donating? I know we're saving money. No, not if you're paying somebody, you are spending money. Okay, next question. So now we're gonna pretend like you are the recording studio owner. So that was the person that we just paid. Um, you, you have to pay the sound engineer for his work. So the person who sits there and does the recording. So what money choice are you making? Earn, save, spend, or donate? It says pay, so you need to Spend it, yes, spending money. So we got a lot of spending so far. All right, so now that sound engineer who just got paid, you receive pay for your work. So which one is that earn, save, spend, and donate? Which one? He donated his, well, oh, no, we don't know what he did with his money. He earned money, yay. Okay, so we're still that sound engineer. You also pay yourself first and deposit $20 in the bank. So if you're going to put $20 in the bank that you earned, well, we already earned it, so it's not gonna be earned. Did he spend it by putting it in the bank? Nope. Did he donate it? No, he didn't donate to the bank. Donate means you're not gonna get it back. He is saving it, saving $20 for another day. Now you are the bank president, the bank president. You hire three more employees. What are you doing with your money if you're hiring people? Are you earning money, saving money, spending money, or donating money? Earn, save, spend. You're spending it. Because you're spending your money. You're giving them your money for them to work for you. Okay, so now you're one of the new bank employees that just got hired. You receive pay for your work. Is that earning money, saving, spending, or donating? Earn, save, spend, and donate. Earn. You're earning money for a job that you do. Next, you're another new bank employee. After work, you walk to the store and buy a cha-ching t-shirt. Which one is that? Earn, save, spend, or donate? You are spending your money. You had it and you gave it to somebody for something, for a good. Clothing store owner, that's who you are now. You pay sales tax to the city on the clothes that you sell. The city will use that money for police and fire protection. So is that earning, saving, spending, or donating? Well, did you spend that money? Mm, yeah, because I paid sales tax. I had to spend money um, and they took that out of the money that I spent. Now you're the city tax collector and you get paid for doing your work. That's nice. Is that earning, saving, spending, or donating? Ooh, earning. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, so still that same city tax collector. You give some of your pay to a local children's charity. Earn, save, spend, and donate. We well, earned it. Oh, well, you earned your money, but okay. You give some of your pay. Pay, you spend it. Oh, wait. You give some of your pay to a local children's charity. That would be donating. Remember, donating means you're not getting it back and you aren't necessarily getting a good out of it. Spending would be when you get something in return for it. Children's charity volunteer. You rent space at the bowling alley to sell donated toys. So that would be donated, right? Now, just because they're a volunteer and the toys are donated, it says you rent Space, which means they had to pay for it. So they're spending money. So here's the bowling alley owner. 
You buy empty, you buy empty lot space next door from the city to expand your business. So they're trying to get a bigger bowling alley. So what would that be? Did you earn money? Your mo you'll probably earn money if you have a bigger bowling alley, but that's not earning money. You are Spending money and you had to buy that new space. So you're the city employee. You hire Cha-Ching to play a concert in the town square. If you're hiring somebody, if I get hired at a job, what am I going to expect? I'm going to expect them to pay me. So you hire them. That means they are spending their money. So yay, we created a thriving city by using all four money choices and keeping them in balance. We made the city go round. So the, we started with the band and then the band had to pay the recording studio and the recording studio paid the bank and the bank or, or used, used the bank and the bank is part of the government and then the clothing store and then the children's charity and then they, they rented space at the bowling alley and then they hired the band. So this is what we're talking about when we say, um, money choices and how it makes the city go around. We need all those different people and businesses to be spending money, saving money, earning money, and donating money for our city to stay in um, good shape. And that's what happened with the, when we had the coronavirus and everything was shut down, people weren't spending their money. So businesses were closing down and that just kind of makes this trickle down effect. Instead of having that full circle, it's if you stop a part of that circle, it can ruin everything else. And then we get into trouble. All right, guys, that is all for today's junior achievement video. But we'll be back tomorrow with some more money moves and money choices. See you then.